stay in the shack, we have got a coat de book. I just want to show you this. Look at that. Fantastic. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to, we're going to do a slow cook. So we're going to do a, a reverse sear on this uh, beautiful piece of meat. 900 grams. There's 900 grams of beautiful coupe de boeuf. Uh, now I hope I pronounce that correctly. I'm sure I'll get picked up on that. We're going to slow cook this at an American 220 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 225 degrees Fahrenheit actually. And, it, and this master bill is already set to that temperature. Now, if you're in the UK like, like I am, then basically you can change that to Celsius. So it's a very, very slow cook. So that's what we're gonna do on the master bill here. Here we have it, the master bill. Uh, the master bill 1050 gravity fed um, barbecue. Beautifully made, American, American made, and uh, it has your shelf in there and everything else. But what makes this so special is this is your hopper. So this hopper here is where all your coal goes in. And now that is chocker block at the moment, full of coal, as you can probably tell, you can probably see that from there. And what, what that does is basically that will just gravity feed all the way down and, and keep going for a good 10 to 13 hours of cooking time. And then you'll eventually have to refill it and keep cooking. At 225 Fahrenheit, you are smoking. You mix this with wood. As I'm uh, a woodworker, I tend to have um, offcuts of oak. My offcuts of oak never go to waste. They always go in here. So that is the beauty of this gravity fed master built, built barbecue. You can use a mix of briquettes and charcoal and wood. So I definitely mix the wood with the charcoal or briquettes or whatever you're doing anyway, because that is what gives you the smoke. Now you do have a tray at the bottom here. Let's see it. what I'll do is take it out for you so you can have a look. This is the tray that goes at the bottom. This is to catch all your embers of your charcoal. And what, they, what I do is add a couple of pieces of oak in there as well. And when the embers hit, it starts smoking the oak as well. What happens now is we start it, we get a um, fire lighter. I tend to use the natural fire lighters. Uh, they work well and they look like this. They come in a box like this, about six pounds. Six pound for a big box like this. So I tend to use just one fire lighter. I don't need any more than that. This is a unique piece of kit and I tend to forget this all the time, but you can see these, you, you pull these things out, because if you don't, that uh, charcoal, the, the, the burner won't work. It just won't work, simple as that. It's not gonna get to temperature. So you must remember them. I've forgotten about two or three times to take these out before and wondered why it wasn't getting hot. <laughs> so there's a handy little uh, holder there that you put on the front, uh, just right there, out of the way. Put this tray down. Again, you've got a handy little tray. What we're going to do now is light, light it. Because what we do now is kickstart it. So it, this is electric, by the way. The only reason you've got electric is to run the, the, the fan on the barbecue itself. So we're going to turn it on. And with any luck, you may see the dashboard there. Do I'll set it to 225 Fahrenheit. It won't start until we shut this door. So the fan's now running and your, your temperature will start rising in, in the uh, in the barbecue itself and as you can see it's already started to smoke which is what it's designed to do so a very important must in doing smoking and cooking barbecues is a nice beer got to be done because without the beer you can't cook properly Beautiful is we have some of this lovely rub that I buy online and it's called Texas TX rub and what it consists of is white and grey pepper, white salt and garlic. Give it plenty on, on here, okay, on this meat. This meat deserves plenty of uh, seasoning and then we'll need to just pat it in and pat it in. Turn it over and give it another go. So as you can see, I'm being very liberal. Some loads. There you go. 
there, look at that. Look at that, well coated, right? So, so there you go. So we're going to leave that for about five minutes, let it all settle. Um, really should leave it for about an hour to be fair and let all those juices soak in and let all the flavours get in, into the meat. But there you go. That is it so far. I'm going to leave that set and let this baby heat up to 225 degrees Fahrenheit, as I said before. And then from there, we move on to putting the meat in. But before we put the meat in, we do use a butcher's roll. And you, it's possible that you've seen these before, but we get them uh, from Pro Smoke. I will advertise the, the company because this is where we bought this from, Pro Smoke. I will put everything down below um, so you can see for yourself what's going on and where I get my bits and pieces from. Right, so what we're going to do now is get this meat on and get it cooking. Woohoo! Look at that smoke, man! Right, so that's going to go straight in the middle, thus, like that. And then what we're going to do is put the probe, get the probe. I tell you, sweet, can you see me through the smoke? <laughs> anyway, we're going to put it bang in the middle of the meat, so it's there. But what I'll do, I'll use my fingers to get right in the middle of the meat. So we want to be there. I don't know whether you can see that, but that's where we want to be. So I'll keep my fingers there. Put it bang in the middle of the meat and get that probe to my fingers there. So now I know that that probe is in the middle of the meat itself. Shut the lid and let it do its thing. It's going to be roughly about an hour. And I say that because we're not going by the time, like I said, we're going by the probe temperature. We want 120 degrees Fahrenheit and then we're pulling it off and putting it back on the board and then whacking the temperature up to 700 degrees Fahrenheit. And while I wait, it is mandatory to be having a drink off of that thing. We are looking at about just about an hour, literally an hour, and we are at a temperature of 116 degrees Fahrenheit. I've had a few of these, so do excuse me. down rather nicely. 7% alcohol. Whew. That a good show. Shall we have a sneak preview? Shall we? 117. So we've got three more degrees. Or shall we wait? Nah, let's, let's have a look. Whoa, look at that. Right. <laughs> so only thing with smoking is smoke. In it. I've just been told off for not using Amanda's beer mats. <laughs> 120 degrees. Now we're going to take that out because that is ready. So I want you to see that. I hope you can see that. I really do because that is looking absolutely amazing. So we just want to take that out, get that probe out. Really should wear gloves for this, but hey ho. Hardcore, you know what I mean? Get the shelf down, get this along, and. Right, so I just want to show you that. That is what it's looking like, smoked at the moment, okay? And that is at 220 degrees, 120 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature. Perfect temperature. So there you go guys, look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Now we're going to shut the lid and we are going to whack that temperature up by, you hear the fan going, look, there you go, 700 degrees, I want that. 700 degrees is 10 past, uh, eight minutes past seven right now. Let's see how long that takes. That was at 225, it's now at 250. Literally seconds later, 250. 283 right now. 296, 301. My God, that is taking no time at all. 
I reckon by 10 past that'll be at 700 degrees. 400 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I'm watching it as we as we speak. And having the new Pinky Poos as well. Love you, Love you, Jude. Mm, 476. 486. 533. That is really rocketing up that temperature now. Can you hear that? The coal's dropping down in the gravity fed. Pretty cool. So we're up to four minutes and we are up to pretty much 700 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is it guys. So we want to be whacking this right on now. So look at that. So that's rested for four minutes. That looks absolutely amazing. It really does. Absolutely lovely. I'm going to whack that on now. Woohoo! That heat. I'm going to whack that on. Can you hear that? Lovely searing temperature. Okay. So we're going to let that cook at a very high temperature now. Red hot. I've got to keep an eye on the time really because it won't take long to see it. Probably a max of two minutes per side. So as we've been cooking, we've had a few of these and we've just really enjoyed the cook. It's been fantastic. So we've had an hour worth of um, slow cook at 225 Fahrenheit. That's about around about 115, 120 degrees Celsius for a slow smoke. Now bearing in mind the way the reason it's a smoke is because we've got charcoal and oak, wood oak, okay, solid wood oak, kiln dried in between and a little bit of oak in the ash bin as well. So every time the charcoal falls through into the ash bin you'll get that real smoky smoke inside this chamber, okay, and that is what makes it mwah, beautiful. So we're going to lift that. Whoa, that is phenomenal. <laughs> and get a bit smoky eyed. Right, so we're going to turn it over. Oh, look at that. Shut that lid. Here we go again. So, a further at least two minutes on the other side, and then we are ready for it to rest. Yep, yeah, all right, and that's about right. Oh yes, that's about right. Look at that. So that's the fat rendered. I'm gonna let that rest for a good 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna cover it and uh, cover it with some more paper, basically, and just let that sit and rest. So we've been giving this a good, good 15, 20 minutes of rest time under wraps, as you can see. So there it is, under wraps. Now what, and, and that is thanks to the Masterbuilt Gravity Fed is amazing. I can't recommend it enough. I really can't. <laughs> what a fantastic piece of kit. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is unwrap this baby As you can see all the juices wow look at that man look at the juices so all those juices are just oh can't wait I cannot wait so there's a bone here right there so the bones there the dog can have that um there's a bit of fat in there as well which is not quite rendered um but we're not gonna eat that and then just put it onto the, uh, onto the chopping board. So here we go guys, I'm going to cut it and see what you think, okay? Oh. <laughs> here we go. Oh my god. And the dog is lingering around waiting. I'm confident in what I'm seeing. That is beautiful. Look at that. That is so juicy, it's unbelievable. 
Amanda, can you do the honours and taste the first bit of beef, coat de boeuf, please? If you can taste that first piece and let me know. There's a lot of juices going on, isn't there? It's beautiful. I think the dog also knows how lovely <laughs> it is. Because he's like, oh, hmm, Doogie, what's this? What's Come mommy see, got? what's, what's this? Come got? here then. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> He said, that's enough, I need it. <laughs> so I want to say thank you for watching uh, Smoking Robinson. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a few more little encounters with this smoker, I can tell you. And I'm going to have a piece of myself because there's no way everyone else is getting a piece and I'm not. some salad with that and I'll talk to you later anyway guys thank you very much for watching and uh, here's to so many 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 more lovely videos on cooking on the master built 1050 gravity fed uh, barbecue thank you very much bye for now mm -hmm.